two different people with two distinct backgrounds come together to create the miracle that is life. But it's not until this newly living, breathing organism sees a name that it becomes a human being. A her or a him or a he or a she instead of an it. So a name carries a certain weight and importance in defining who we are as people. It is what we are addressed as every day of our existence, and the official title we put on tax forms and essay headings. This series of letters that defines us is the most important word in our lives. And it is this importance and weight the name carries that drove me to discover the people I was named after. My grandpa can only recall so much about his grandmother. Her personality is limited to a big, gentle, but quiet lady. His earliest memory of Katie Sanwina returns to when he was five in a bar in Queens, New York. He is sitting at the bar with his dad, and in the corner is a six-year-old woman with white gloves on. She is doing a demonstration, bending an iron bar. There is no trick. This retired strong woman was once the strongest woman in the world. There is a Guinness World Record to commemorate her. Like many good stories, the rest has passed down by word of mouth. The day that Katie Broombach won the right to the name Sanwina was like many others in her life. She was traveling with the circus, staying in New York at the time, and betting the crowd that no man or woman could lift more than she could. The circus was willing to bet $100 on this fact. There is something different about this day, however. It just so happened that in the audience was Eugene Sandow. A famous bodybuilder and weightlifter, he challenged Katie. They began with 100 pounds, lifting barbells over their heads. It was a simple matter for both. They increased the weight from 100 to 150 to 200 pounds and still neither faltered. When they reached 300 pounds, both were tired but determined. Katie went first, grabbing the weighed down bar and hoisting it over her head. It was no easy feat, and she dropped it with a clang immediately afterwards. Not wanting to be bested, Eugene grabbed the same bar and attempted to raise it above his. He strained with his trained back, arms, and legs, but only managed to get it to his chest. He dropped the bar, tired and out of breath. The crowd roared in support of the warrior. So, having defeated the great Sandow, she adopted the name Sandina. This became her stage name, and is the name she was referred to from 1905 and onward. This legacy that the name held followed her to that bar in Queens and long after. The strongest woman in the world is a weighty title to possess, and she has been known by it even after she passed. A last name carries on the legacy of those before you, and encompasses what a family stands for. But a first name is unique to one person. There may be others with the same name, but one's achievements, failures, and demeanor are connected to that title while they are alive. I am named after an incredible human being. Stephen Grant grew up a man of color on the streets of Richmond. He did not use the relative financial success he enjoyed to leave as soon as possible, but instead stayed and became an important figure in the Gateway program. The program's aim was to get kids off the streets after school by providing opportunities otherwise unavailable. Stephen took kids on bike trips, raft trips, to rope courses, and camping. It was through these that he developed a strong connection with many of the kids he worked with. It was raining, raining hard. Huge drops hit the dirt and splashed newly formed mud upwards. Twelve city kids were attempting to set up a tent before they became completely soaked. From a van parked nearby, a head emerged and told them to square away the camp. Eventually, after many more raindrops fell, they figured out which poles went where and escaped from the storm into the tent for the night. Ever responsible and worrying for the kids, the man walked through the trough of mud without shoes to check on them sometime in the middle of the night. The children never knew until they noticed Stefan walking the next five-mile leg of the journey without socks. The care he showed to his kids is what made him the most influential person in my life, to those that listened to what he had to preach. Even today, he is remembered for his six defining characteristics that he emulated and taught. Firm, fair, consistent, proud, disciplined, and always maintaining a positive attitude. It seems impossible to live up to such a legacy, but I was told that your name symbolizes his determination and will. And so it is from these two people that I possess the name Grant Sandrina. Born from strength and kindness, perseverance and patience, this is what defines my name. This is how two completely different people who never knew each other can be remembered as one. This is why I share their stories and live to emulate all they have accomplished and stood for.